Behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and roll. Somebody say, An angel touched him. And what I'm about to say don't mean I'm an angel because my wife's here and she'll tell you otherwise. <laughs> and it's the truth. I am no angel. But angel means a messenger. Look at your neighbor and say, There's a message about to touch us. Preacher, you ought to try that sometime. Get so close to God in prayer that what comes out of your mouth as a message actually touches the people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of it just sounding good. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Not so high over the people. <laughs> oh, I've been to cemetery. I mean seminary school. Yeah. Name your ministry Fahrenheit. Degree, 32 below. You know so much. Even the astronaut on the moon can't figure out what you said. Come back down to earth and preach where people live. Oh, glory. Be transparent. Tell people of what you went through. Some of them look at you and think you ain't never going to do nothing. That's the way you preach it. Oh, glory. Somebody say, touch by an angel. I hear another song now. When you walk down the road, everybody, everybody. You probably do it better. I like that song. It's a good one. Yeah. Praise God. <laughs> but here's a real account of being touched by an angel. Elijah's in depression, wanting to die, afraid of Jezebel. What she said, it's already tomorrow. Somebody shout, he's weak, being, being awakened. It's tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. He's still breathing. You'd have thought, my out. God, he'd have thought, what? Yeah. Devil lied. Come on. He talking, he did, you dummy. Yeah. Yeah. And here he is, he's so depressed, wanting to die. Angel touches him. Come on, gives him something to eat and drink. Somebody shout, gets touched and fed by an angel. You'd have thought, son, he'd have been up some with his back straight and his chest sticking out and say, where's that devil? She be where? Yeah. No. What's the boy do? The angel came. Listen. Hey, man. He, 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 he ate the cake that was baked for him on the coal, the cruise of water at his head. And he did eat and drink and laid him down again. Come on now. <laughs> now look at your neighbor and say, I thought he had faith. Some of y'all been praying, oh, where's the Lord God of Elijah? Notice it didn't say, where's Elijah? It said, where's the Lord God of Elijah? Oh, I want the faith of Elijah. Boy, you didn't want it right here. Now, I don't know how I'd do because woe unto you when you meet people, you know, you've seen them. They, they see angels every week. Run from them people. Hmm. Jesus didn't even see them every week when he was on earth. Matter of fact, I believe there's only really one account, and that's when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane. Come on, somebody. That I remember, he didn't even say it and acknowledge an angels. Come on, appeared and strengthened him. Luke 22, verse 43. When he was praying, remember the sweat came as great drops of blood falling down to the ground. Amen. In verse 44, so, um, you know, these people, they, oh, angel sat. Oh, God, that's all an angel. Really? I just don't remember recording no word, but I remember him seeing an angel. He sees one here. And the boy rolls over and goes back to sleep. Now, I don't know about you. I think my depression pretty much would have been at its end right there. <laughs> Glowing and showing him the glory of God. Standing there <laughs> with angel cake. <laughs> <laughs> Some angel water. Come on, somebody. Somebody shout, this cake come from heaven and so did this water. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't so depressed, so, so his depression wasn't that deep. He, he could still eat. Now, another thing, that's what some people do that's depressed. They yeah. run the food. Come on. But he's eating and drinking, looking at an angel, and an angel talking to him. He just goes right back to his little depressed sleep. 
thank God for second touches. Because right. verse 7 said, the angel of the Lord came again a second time. And by the way, here's my notes. Came to him a second time and touched him and said, arise and eat. Because the journey is too great for thee. Remember what the devil, what the spirit of witchcraft said through that old witch Jezebel? That demon, his message was, I'm going to kill you tomorrow. Yes, yes. What happened tomorrow? What happened the next day? Woo. Another angel, not a fallen one. <laughs> one from the presence of God shows up yeah. and said, look, I'm your angel. And that, that death angel, that old devil fallen angel that spoke to you, that's a lying spirit. I am of the truth. I am of, of, of heaven. And I've come to tell you, son, get up. God ain't through with you. Your journey's too great. In other words, your future. Amen. God, God is amazing. It ain't over. You ain't dying today. I dare you shove somebody. Say, I ain't dying today. When that angel told him your journey is too great for you, he was saying, son, your future is so great. Yes, yes. Get up. Get up out of this depression. Yes, ma'am. Angel didn't come up there and, and say, here's our new antidepressant. <laughs> Don't be mad. Let me give you a shot. Snort a line. Here's some Jack Daniel. Come on, somebody. Hello. It's Jim Bean. Come on, look at me. Say you don't need Jim Bean. All you need is Jesus Christ. Right. Keep you, Jack. Jack, I got Jesus. Yeah. Don't need no Southern Comforter. I got Heavenly Comforter. Yeah. Don't need no Lord Calvert. I've been to the Lord of Calvary. Come on, somebody in the Bible know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Come on. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah. This time Elijah gets up. Yeah. Yeah. He goes off that angel food cake and angel water. For 40 days. Yeah. You thought, son, you got victory over it now. I 